Hey guys, Bryden here with Game Over, coming at you today with Game Freak Lad. Uh, uh, what did what did they lie about? <laughs> but I'll get into all that in just a moment. Starting this video off like always, you guys very new on here, so any likes, any comments, any subscriptions, and I would be very appreciative uh, uh, of you. Very. <laughs> so please and thank you, but nonetheless, thank you for just watching the video, or uh, listening, or both. Thank you for listening and watching the video. But okay, let's get right into it. So apparently, Game Freak lied. The hashtag is just blowing up like wildfire right now on Reddit and, uh, and on Twitter. And it's in reference to Game Freak and their production of Pokemon Sword and Shield. And they... They said, they told everybody that they couldn't release a full Pokedex of Pokemon, you know, the whole thing, releasing all the Pokemon in this, this up game, upcoming game, Sword and Shield, because doing all the character modeling would just take far too long. But apparently some data miners uh, got a hold of the game, and when they were, you know, data mining uh, of all the files, wow, I... That just sounded terrible. But all right, yeah, so while they were checking into all the files, it looks like a lot of the models are exactly the same, if not just barely different from a previous game. So it makes their statement absolute garbage, absolute bullshit. But what can you expect from gaming companies these days? They're all fucking shady anymore. It's kind of terrible. But um, so if this holds true, then just wow. You know, you would think it would be better for a gaming company to just come straight out and be like, hey, this will take like a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of mountain power. So we're going to have to start out kind of smaller, you know, and then hopefully bring more and more and more out. Or, you know, we're focusing more on gameplay rather than releasing the entire Pokedex. You know, and you'd think that they would just try to do something like that. But instead of, you know, telling people the truth... They went with trying to appease everybody or, you know, trying to tell them a simple lie to get away with why they couldn't appease everybody. And it's absolute garbage, absolute bullshit, because this is literally where the gaming industry is right now. They'll lie, 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 cheat still, and then when they get caught, they backpedal a little bit. Oh my gosh, we're sorry, no, we didn't mean it like that, no, no. Yeah, it's just absolutely ridiculous, but... I don't know, uh, this whole, whole ordeal, I mean, the game could be fantastic, even with a smaller Pokedex or total amount of Pokemon being in the actual game. So, I, I just, you know, I don't know what they were trying to get at with this. Um, and you can't really appease absolutely freaking everybody when you're making a game no matter what, so I just don't know. But, um, yeah, so what are your guys' thoughts does that matter? Do you want every single fucking Pokemon in the game? Do you think they were lying? Uh, do you think it would even be reasonable to have every Pokemon in the game? Because from back in the day when I used to play all these Pokemon games, they didn't have all all the Pokemon in the games. And, and back in the day, they would choose, pick and choose. You get all the, the new gen and then pick and choose from the past gen. So I don't know why everybody's fussy about it but I just don't know and I said that like 80 times in this video because I really don't know <laughs> but all right you guys what are your thoughts opinions I mean it's Pokemon Sword and Shields it, it, it's Pokemon it's not the end of the fucking world for me but you know some people love Pokemon so it is their their thing and maybe this is the end of the world for them yeah I don't know it just might be. But all right, I hope you guys all have a great day. And, uh, yeah. Boop.